Hello everyone, Morris here. Today I'm bringing you another meta report for X and Infinity Origins Season 8. Now it's the early Mystic Era. So, uh, just the thumbnail can probably see it all. This is well, a lot of different archetypes that are actually kind of fireable at the top. So, it's a pretty uh, diverse and I would say pretty balanced meta. Of course, there will always be some that are stronger than others, but at least at this point, you can actually kind of see quite a number of different archetypes that are viable. So, Let's just jump right into uh, yeah the statistics first. So player statistics wise, to be honest, um, the growth of player base definitely has slowed down. Of course, it's still quite a bit higher than same time last season, but of course that's mainly due to uh, you know a lot of players joining during the daily mission kind of thing. Um, but as you can see here, then you'll know that uh, most of the players are kind of like at the egg level, right? Though, um, whereas actually if you compare the players at the tiger um and or above right tiger and above then actually in the numbers is pretty similar to last season so in that sense the players who actually get to tiger is uh, pretty similar there's more players at the bottom um and so that's basically the effect of the uh, daily mission uh, that's how i see it okay so let's just get into the archetype which is of course the fun part so here you can see yeah, Fury Agro, Poison, Feather, uh, Healing Pulse is the pink one, uh, and then Eggshell Mavis, the purple one, and then you see Brutal Claw, um, Perch, uh, even Cuckoo. So I'll talk about Cuckoo. So Cuckoo is a more Cuckoo Koi uh, OTK kind of team, which is pretty fun as well. It's definitely a new thing. So of course, with this new Mystic Era, I say new Mystic Era is because there's quite a lot of new runes uh, being introduced, or Mystic runes. So of course, then there'll be yeah, definitely more fun because there are more combinations, there's more. Yeah, just more like uh, different ways you can build teams and just because there are more Mystic Runes. Uh, for example, I would say Healing Pulse, of course, has been nerfed pretty hard, but it's still pretty viable. And then that's because of the new, like the Bird Rune like, that gives you the summons. I think it's called the Flock or something, I forgot. But yeah, so that run. Um, of course, I still need to learn all the new runes name. But uh, yeah, so there, there's definitely a lot more combinations, basically, that, um, yeah, it's just more fun for Theory Crafter, but just in general, and players, all right, just more toys to play with, basically. Uh, yeah, so that's basically like the meta. Um, you can see like pretty diverse, pretty much all across the board. Of course, there will be some archetypes that are harder to get to the top, right? For example, Anemone will be one that's pretty hard to compete at the top. Like Jinx is probably also falling down, and of course, like you have to go further down to find things like Leafy, etc. Right? Um, but still, um, all of these are at least able to get to Challenger. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so let's just look at the win rate, um, and here we'll see um, that actually I would say Fury Agro, um, Poison, I think it's basically the top three. Okay, I'll just show you here. Right, Fury Agro, Poison, Feather, Healing Pulse, those are the top four at the time of writing, but actually to be honest, like Brutal Claw, Perch, Extra Weavers, Cuckoo, all of these are also kind of rising up. So of course, at this point in time, only a few players has got to above uh, 2,400 victory stars. Of course, as time goes by, I feel like at least all the eight archetypes that I mentioned will be represented in some way, definitely at the top like 50 or top 100 at least. All right. So um, yeah, so that's basically the meta. It's pretty diverse. Of course, you can see that, as I said, Jinx, Anomaly, like Sando, or a lot of other teams are yeah, slowly dropping off, unfortunately, but yeah, that, I mean, still, like, having at least eight different archetypes that are fighting, you know, have the potential to fight at the top is, is pretty new, let's put it that way, compared to, let's say, last season. <laughs> okay, so archetype matchup-wise, uh, I think that's actually pretty important to look at, is because now I do feel like there's a bit of a, you know, like, rock, paper, scissors kind of thing, where it's not like there's one particular archetype that's dominating. Even for Feather, now there's definitely a viable counter, right, which is Brutal Claw. When I say viable, meaning the counter that's actually competitive, right? So Brutal Claw, we want that. Yeah, of course, the bleed is, this hurts the Feather daggers a lot, right? So that's why it's a lot tougher for Feather to play against bleed. Uh, when I say bleed, it's a Brutal Claw. Um, and then I guess that one thing that I would mention is like, um, the Cuckoo, which is actually the, well, I'll call it a new archetype, right? It's a Cuckoo, Koi, uh, you stack a lot of Cuckoo on like the Koi uh, Axie and then you just deal a lot of splash damage, basically on an OTK kind of thing. 
Um, and it's actually like like getting quite viable. Not a lot of players are playing it yet, and well, one of the reasons is actually that not a lot of axes like like uh, optimal axes. Even the players at the very top, then the axes are not optimal. Right? Um, so yeah, different people have different setup at this point. Um, yeah, but yes, it's definitely something that to be optimized. But you can see the matchup is actually pretty good. Uh, I would say except for against perch, perch is. Uh, can be a bit too fast, but um, yeah, with the optimization that probably can be overcome. But I think healing pulse is probably one of the toughest one to play against, is because usually Cuckoo uh, Koi has like uh, one single um, carry, right? Which where you stack a lot of cocoon and then you know play the Koi. But then of course healing pulse ignoring taunt, or meaning you know the the, the reverse heal ignoring taunt you know, can just kill off the uh, the carry easier so maybe you have to attack like last stand or something on the you know um, mech with the cuckoo coys uh, with the koi basically but uh, not a lot is available on the market i must say so yeah um okay so that, that that's basically the new one that i want to talk about of course okay the other one i should talk about is healing pulse so healing pulse of course um no last season is pretty crazy now it's still pretty good i must say um even though the now uh, there's definitely a counter like perch will be actually the, the main counter you can actually see uh there's not a lot of counters really right? it's still very very strong of course because now they have more tech right more well the bird runes that give you a free summon every other turn uh, every other round sorry and yeah there's definitely well even though it's nerfed there's other things that complement it or make it stronger so um yeah if i won't be surprised if like perch will see more play if like there's more healing pulse um around but in this meta there's actually very diverse right? there's like poison feather yeah a lot of different things fear aggro still around as well so yeah uh of course one thing to note right as usual right this is of course for the not even the whole challenger it's just like a 1900 plus uh of course uh, do check out the blog post for I would say I'll just scroll down for more information here. All right, so if you wanna look at specific um, victory star bracket, then yeah, definitely go into it and see more. Of course, uh, there's not a lot of data here because um, I only showed data with at least ten matches in terms of the matchup. So of course, if you scroll all the way down, right, that's really not a lot. And of course. Yeah, I think it's that. This is kind of all green is because, of course, I love 2,400 players will be playing against like the lower ranked players. So yeah, um, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so that's I think pretty much it for the data. So do check out um, the blog post out, and I'll see you in the next video.